Hello, this is Deborah Tripathi, Editor-in-Chief of Cure Magazine, and I'm updating you on this morning's abstracts in the area of breast cancer. Uh, a lot was presented this morning. Uh, the first uh, two uh, lectures were on uh, the use of combined HER2 targeted therapy in the preoperative setting. We've known that HER2 targeted therapy with Herceptin, for example, clearly improves outcome in early stage breast cancer. It lowers the risk of recurrence, and in advanced breast cancer, it, it actually improves uh, survival as well. Uh, the use of several HER2 targeting agents together has been studied recently and this has generated a lot of interest because when you block HER2 with two drugs, in this case Herceptin and Lapatinib, also known as Ticurb, together you seem to get better results. Uh, another study was presented uh, that looked at this combination. Two had been pre pre presented earlier in earlier years and this study confirmed what other studies have shown that the amount of tumor shrinkage is greater when you combine lapatinib with Herceptin than when you use Herceptin alone. All of these uh, trials are usually done in combination with chemo, so the combination of chemo Herceptin versus chemo Herceptin plus lapatinib clearly improved the shrinkage rate, although in this particular study that was presented by Dr. Carey, uh, the difference was not statistically significant. This study was smaller than some of the earlier studies, uh, but it adds to the uh, evidence that combining these two is important. Now, is it time to combine these two drugs routinely in practice? The answer is no, not yet. These are preliminary studies. What we need are studies that show that in the long term, you actually lower the recurrence rate. Not just shrinkage of tumor, but the recurrence rate, or that you improve survival. These studies are uh, in the process of being completed, these larger studies. Uh, so what we learned today is that the shrinkage is greater and the number of women that can have breast conserving surgery is greater. And what it means for the future is that the combination of these studies, once we prove that it is effective, will become the standard of care. But there's always a chance that these small studies are actually erroneous, that they give us a false signal. And that's why you have to wait for the larger studies to be done. So stay tuned for those in the future.